let's get into the next reading, okay? I just decided to um, get my readings done before I go to bed, okay? The angels, ancestors of the highest white light, spirit, most high God. Please use me to channel nothing but truth and honesty in this reading for my YouTube collective. What are they unaware of, okay, for Tuesday's energy? How pretty. Blue Jay. I've seen a Blue Jay today, too. That's so significant. <laughs> what are they unaware of for Tuesday's energy? Okay. What are they unaware of, okay? What do you want to bring to the forefront of their consciousness? Is that a red robin? What kind of bird is that? Okay, thank you, spirit. Let me do a couple more shuffles. I'm hearing a couple more shuffles. Okay, just a second. Here we go. We got a green bug, okay? Green bug attracted to the light. One. Two. Two more to make the boy eat. It. Oh, that's it. One, two, anything else? All right, that's it. Okay, so what I see here is. A lot of you guys want equal give and take, okay? In a love relationship, I'm seeing here. A lot of y'all want equal give and take. You want equal reciprocity. You're not gonna put in anything if nobody's putting in shit, okay? That's beautiful energy, by the way, you know? You shouldn't just be giving or you shouldn't just be taking, you know what I mean? You guys should want equal reciprocity. So a lot of you guys are about to take a leap of faith. Y'all gonna take a leap of faith with this uh, karmic, this karmic uh, fire sign? Lord of Mercy. Let me see. Lord of Mercy, y'all. <laughs> Y'all gonna take a, uh, you're gonna take a leap of faith with a karmic? All right, it says, Rupture, division, interruption. Hmm. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, what I see here is a lot of you guys are in equal give and take relationship with God, okay? With the universe, with the divine. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith to you and let you know that they want equal give and take with you. It could be a fire sign on the wrong side of the energy. They're taking a leap of faith to tell you that they love you. But you only love yourself at this time. Yeah, you're in your queen of swords energy. Like, you're just not with it because you know this person is a liar. You know this person is a fraud. Four, four, four on the time up. Yeah, so a lot of you guys are going to need strength. Yeah, it's definitely an Aries. Okay, 
Vegas Aries here. We got double Aries uh, energy here with the Emperor card and the Knight of what is this? The King of Wands. My bad, King of Wands. Yeah, I gotta read the King of Wands again in reverse. Yeah, this person is a karmic. Okay. Some of you guys already knew that, all right? Because y'all are using that intuition, right? King of Wands in reverse. Good, but severe, austere, yet tolerant. Hmm. Let's look up austere. What the fuck does that mean? Hold on. Severe or strict in manner, attitude, or appearance. Yeah, this person has a fucking attitude problem, okay? Um, yeah, hold on. Let me look emperor in reverse as well. Emperor in reverse means abusive abuse of power okay the emperor in reverse is a sign of abuse authoritative power in your social life it can manifest in the overreach of power from a father figure or a possessive partner in career readings it could become it could be coming from a superior it presents a man who wants to take control of your actions and make you feel powerless yeah so uh you guys are gonna be like okay like like you love me okay god bless like who the fuck doesn't love me the fuck like like what you gonna be saying like the fuck like what the fuck does that mean like who the fuck doesn't love me that's how you're gonna be standing there like okay the fuck and your point is you can keep that shit you can save that shit word nobody cares because you all of a sudden love me that's how y'all gonna be feeling. I'm like, it's like, what? I love my motherfucking self. I don't need nobody to love me. God loves me. I love my motherfucking self. My child loves me. Who the fuck are you again? Yeah, because I don't know who the fuck you are. Um, yeah, exactly. And that's that Queen of Swords energy. Yeah, 727 on the time of 728, 729, 730, 731. Yeah, and then, yeah, this person is like, oh, they want to get married. Okay, find somebody to get married. Like, it's not me. Collective, like, this is y'all energy. Like, you're not marrying me. Like, I don't know what the fuck you, I don't know what type of epiphanies you recently came across, but sweetheart, you know, my life does not revolve around you. Period. I got way better shit going on than you. Matter of fact, you ain't going on in my life. I, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't never been going on in my life. So who the fuck cares that this fucking Aries loves you, okay? This person wants you to be in some, because this person is coming in telling you they love you and they want to be married to you, okay? Like this person wants you to be in some energy. You know that part of Beyonce song where it's like, where it's like, world stop. Like, yeah, like, they want you to stop your world because they fucking love you. And it's like, it's a fuck no. It's a fuck no. Go back to those motherfuckers that you, that you was loving on, you know what I'm saying? When you was not worried about me, was not thinking about me, was not giving two fucks about me. So now you came up with this master plan to talk about I love you. Motherfucker, if you don't go fucking catch a fucking hike, go catch a fucking hike, all right? And get the fuck out of my face because I don't give a fuck. I don't. I really don't. I I don't need a daddy. I don't need a motherfucking controlling ass spouse. Better yet, I don't even need a fucking spouse. You know why? Because God is my spouse. Period. And God is not controlling. God is not abusive. He ain't none of that shit. He ain't manipulative. No. But you are. So why the fuck would I be with you? Yeah. Me and Swords Energy. Some of y'all are Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You don't have to be though. Could be a Leo. Okay. So yeah, and then we have uh three of cups here. So a lot of you guys are gonna be celebrating soon with friends. Okay, maybe friends you haven't seen in a while. You lost connection with. Um, I don't know, whatever the fuck happened. But you are, you guys are gonna be celebrating soon. I love my nails. Y'all love my nails. I think they look so fucking cute, so creative, you know. 
Only color they didn't have was red. I was going for the rainbow pride thing. They didn't have red. So yeah, anyway, I don't know. A lot of y'all 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 just got y'all nails done or something. The fact that I just pointed that shit out, what the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, get ready to celebrate. All right, it's coming soon. We're gonna be celebrating with a Capricorn. Wow, the Capricorn is a motherfucking devil. Look at the card. He's like, come, come. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's saying. He like come. <laughs> They're not that bad, man. They just can be really fucking dark. That's all, you know. And some of y'all are not used to that, so this is gonna be something different for you. You know what I mean? But they in the upright. They in the upright. Ten forty four on the timer. Look that up. Angel number ten forty four. Yeah. So y'all are not stuck, okay? Some of y'all need to really stop it, okay? Because yeah, eight of swords in the upright. Let's read it. Let's read it. Those tears will fall. Get out, get out, leave right now. It's the end of you and me. It's too late, and I can't wait for you to be gone. Cause I know about her, and I wonder. You said that you would treat me right, but it was just a waste of time. Yeah, a lot of y'all are in that JoJo energy. Yeah, and telling motherfuckers to get out, okay? Because, yeah, like, it's a motherfucking dub. Like, I don't know what the fuck you thought. Yeah, the moral of the story is that you guys thought you could trust this person, but you can't. You just can't, all right? Spirit already told you that. God already showed you that. And you know that because you guys are using your intuition. So it's just an overall fuck no, okay? From the universe, from your heart, from everything. It's, it's just a fuck no. Oh, yeah. So let's read Eight of Swords. And y'all don't have to feel bad about that. Like, this is your life. You can live it the way you want, period. If some of y'all want to be with a karmic, go ahead. I'm not here to fucking tell y'all don't be with this person if you love this person. This person is a karmic. If you want to be with a karmic, God bless. Period. Nothing I can say. God can say. You know what I mean? It's really nothing nobody can say. Your spirit, God. That's your fucking life. Okay? It's your life. Live it the way you want to, poo. All right? But it says, uh, yeah, for Eight of Swords. So Eight of Swords. Let's read Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords says, bad news, violent, chagrin, crisis, Censor, power and trammels, conflict, calamity, also sickness. Okay, so yeah, this, uh, this Capricorn, this Capricorn wants you to celebrate with them. But this Capricorn is sick. 1303 on the timer, okay? Be careful with this Capricorn. Yeah, they're very sick, like physically. You understand what I'm saying? You guys need to be careful. And then you have the Hierophant in the upright. Okay, last card on the board. So yeah, the Hierophant, yeah, the Hierophant signifies tradition, spirituality, religion. Okay, this person here is not only mentally sick, but they're physically sick, okay? And they want you to be trapped. They want you to be trapped because they're sick, all right? Yeah, um, they don't want you to be spiritual, religious, um, you know, um, practicing traditions, you know, and you guys' family or the traditions that you guys, um, celebrate on your own. Um, they don't want that for you. Okay. So basically this reading is about here an earth sign and an Aries, um, a Capricorn and an Aries. You need to be really fucking careful with these people because they both have horrible intentions for you. And yeah, God is just bringing it to your intent, your attention at this time, because God wants you to be careful okay yeah it's just best right now to just continue to have an equal give and take with god um please do not take a leap of faith right now with these people don't don't do it don't do it don't do it continue to love yourself look continue to love yourself look that's you kissing you period period like love yourself collector Continue, continue to be in that Queen of Swords energy in the upright as long as you need to. All right? Because motherfuckers think shit is a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a joke to be out here trying to...
fuck with somebody's health, okay? Yeah, it's not a joke to be out here trying to fuck with somebody's health. It's not a joke here to fucking get somebody in some low vibrational ass marriage because you're a fucking karmic, okay? Talk about, talk about you love them. Y'all need to be careful. If I was you, I would just stay in hermit mode. Honestly, you know? Just keep spending time with you guys as kids. Keep uh, loving yourself, working on yourself, building your, your lives and your businesses and shit like that because it's, re it's not safe. It's really not safe at this time. Can I get some angel messages here? my collective in this reading you know i don't want them to leave upset spirit okay angel messages here Couple. Let's get into it. First card I see. Well, first card I see was mediumship. So it says you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. So a lot of you guys are are medium. God bless. Okay. Next card out is listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. Okay, a lot of you guys need to listen to your intuition, okay, about the situation. Also, ear chakras. It says, notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. Okay, so whatever uh, messages... The divine is sending. Hold on, I'm trying to see if I dropped any cards. No, that was it. Okay, so a lot of you guys are receiving messages from the divine through your air chakras. Okay, you need to listen to that. Then we have Archang Archangel Michael. So it says, you're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. Then we have goddess. It says, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing and nurturing qualities. All right, a lot of you guys need to tap into that divine feminine energy, okay? Don't be afraid to... Uh, Express that, you know, that femininity, okay? 1822 on the timer. Oh, I burp. 1838 on the timer, 1839, 1840, 1841, 1842. And the last card here is indigo. So it says, the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. 1855, 1856, 1857, 1858, 1859, 1900. So some of you guys are indigo children, or maybe uh, some of these, these Capricorn or this Aries is, is an indigo child, okay? Um, yeah, okay. Apply it where it resonates, okay? Continue to use your intuition and skills of discernment, okay? You guys know what's best for you. Um, don't just watch my reading here and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. You guys need to really listen to yourself and uh, make the best decisions for you guys' own life, okay? I'm only here to give you guys the energy, okay, as best as I can, okay? And, lo and uplift you guys, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I love you guys, man. I hope this helped. I'm sending you all love and light. And, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace and love. Bye. Oh.